Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and these are my favorite tricks with blank cards. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Uh, I've done a couple reviews lately for gimmick decks, right? Or tricks, pack of tricks that use blank cards. And I think uh, in my most recent video, I just mentioned that I had done several of these lately. It seemed like through the winter uh, last year and this year, uh, it seems like a lot of different decks with blank cards or full blank decks have come across my desk. And I thought, you know what? Let's just put them all in one video, right? Let's just put them all in one video, uh, throw in some other extras and give you a top seven, right? Top seven list. So these are my top seven tricks either packet tricks or full deck tricks that use blank cards, okay? So it's either gonna be there's a blank card involved or the entire deck is blank. Now, I will say that because of the nature of blank cards, every single thing we're gonna talk about today is a gimmick, okay? Every, these are all gimmick decks, all of them. For the most part, none of these decks can be examined. Okay, these are, these are completely 100% gimmick tricks, but I want to make a fun little top seven list for you and uh, maybe hopefully uh, introduce you to a trick that you didn't know anything about. So let's start with number seven. Number seven is Paint It Blank. Paint It Blank is 20 bucks. It is from John Bannon and it is one blank card, one blank card. So one blank card trapped between two jokers the spectator names any card and that blank card becomes their named card. Very easy to do. Very easy to do and you really only carry two jokers with you as your extra cards and you can do this. Um, number six is Bwave from Max Maven. In Bwave, you get three blank cards. Uh, this is $12 and you'll show a selection of four cards. You'll say that they're queens or kings or jacks and you'll have them name one and you'll reveal the one they named and then show the other three are blank. Number five is Poker Test from Eric Casey. This trick uses five blank cards. See what we're doing? We're moving up. We're moving up from one to three to now five. Uh, you're gonna show five blank cards with red backs. You're gonna ask them a few questions and then in a flash, you're gonna show that the backs are now red and the faces are now a royal flush and you can pick up Poker Test for $25. Number four is a classic, the Mental Photography deck by Ralph Hole. Uh, this is a $19 gimmicks deck. Uh, there's a couple tricks you can do with this. I've seen different uh, magicians approach this solution different ways. But in a nutshell, it is an all blank deck on both sides, and then it becomes all printed on both sides. Number three is Blizzard from Dean Dill. This is a $40 effect and you have a deck of cards and you allow the spectator to name any card. That card is placed on the table along with some other cards. You then divine which card is theirs and you are right. And then you reveal that it was the only one you could have chosen because the other three cards were blank. And then you shift their attention to the deck and now the deck is also blank. Uh, this one uses two decks of cards. I really like this, but it means carrying two decks and so that's why it's in my number three. Number two, is Brainstormer by Mark Leverage. This is $25, this is from Big Blind Media, and it is a do as I do. Uh, it's one deck, you split the deck in half, you give your spectator blank cards that you say are the reds, and you keep the blank cards that you say are the blacks. You each select a card, trade it, and lose it into your blank decks, but when the decks are fanned, your card is seen face up amidst their cards, and their named card no force is seen face up amidst yours. And number one, my favorite, the snow deck from Magic Dream Paris. This is $40. It is a beautiful deck. It is not rough and smooth. And the spectator can name any card, no force, no equivocate. You can show the entire deck blank from the front and back. It's gorgeous. No force in a spread. You can see the back of the card now appears in the center of the deck. You can flip the cards over and fan them one more time and there, their card is facing them right there in the middle. Again, no rough and smooth, no force. One deck and only one deck is used. 
Snow deck is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous trick. Um, my number one, as soon as I saw it, I said, this is it. This is, the, this is the one that puts all the rest in a blizzard, in a snowstorm, in a flurry. It, it buries them all. This one that I love, snow deck is fantastic. So that's it. Those are my favorite, those are my favorite top seven tricks, packet tricks or gimmick decks with blank cards. What are yours? What are yours? What, what haven't I reviewed yet? Or what don't I know about yet? Let me know down below what your favorite trick is using either a blank card, a couple blank cards, or maybe a full blank deck. Tell us down below what your favorite decks are. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, hey, and one more thing. Uh, one more thing. I know you've seen me in my videos wear this shirt a lot, the, the Magic Orthodoxy brand shirt. And I don't know if you know this, but this is not just a merch shirt. This is not just a shirt that has my brand. This is actually a magic trick. This is a magic reveal t-shirt that is available exclusively at my Teespring store. It was actually designed in Melbourne, Australia, and it is your 30 minute secret weapon because it looks like a seemingly innocent vintage tea, but all over this are six different magic reveals. So you got ESP reveals, coins, cards, the toxic forces on here, even a movie and a lot more. You can use this as the grand finale of your entire close-up act. It's available in maroon, black, and gray. And I have another YouTube video that completely explains how to do a reveal for each one of these tricks. So I actually have a magic tutorial for this t-shirt on my channel. So it's, it's there, it tells you all about it if you want to learn more. Uh, or you can just go down to any one of the graphics that are down there, that'll take you out to the Teespring store if you click one of those. And thanks for watching guys, thanks for all your support.